realize that they accept only cash. I went for the one of um, a box, which is actually seven pounds. It last me for like two or three weeks. This was this wasn't the exact um, special of paper I was looking for, but. this morning to carry out. Alexa, please watch my reminder for this morning. Here is the upcoming reminder. You have one reminder in the morning on Saturday. Shopping at 7.30 a.m. Oh, hi guys. So, I have to go get prepared. I'm actually going to Birmingham. They have like a very lovely market there. Like, it's more like um, um, a bar market in Nigeria. Like, you get to see everything Nigerian. Like if you're a lover of Nigerian meals, like you get to see everything from fruits to food items and other stuff. So I'll be exploring that market today. So don't worry, you'll be carried along. So let me just freshen up and get ready and we hit the road. Thank you guys. Okay guys, I'm all ready for the shopping I told you guys I was going for in Birmingham. So I'll talk to you guys later. Let me hurry up and catch up with my boss. Bye. Okay guys, so I had to use uh, the home to bus station because I was a bit confused with the one I initially wanted to use the bus stop I wanted to use. So I waited for like three minutes in the middle and then my bus arrived. So after that, I got in. I had the intention of trying to get food. I discovered it was a bit early. They usually not by like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. thereabouts. So like, um, this is my second time going to Birmingham and it seems a bit to me, I have to come and get something to eat because, as you can see, my face is all squeezed and I'm hungry. <laughs> so, when this child is hungry, and when I'm hungry, I'm not, I'm not productive. Like, I can assure you, I'm not at my best. Interesting. So, once I'm done eating, <laughs> we can resume the tour. Like, there are some nice, amazing places, like the fruit market. Like, it's beautiful. I'll show you guys. Like, so just give me a, give me some time. Let me just you know feed this girl's stomach and we'll be back. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, so I'm done eating guys. So I'm heading to the market. The fruit market. So <laughs> don't worry, I'll tell you the gist of what happened and why I'm laughing, but it's going to be like another time. I cannot say it now. Nobody is not there again. Huh? Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> say it, but oh, so sunny and I'm enjoying the sun. Why are you confusing me? <laughs> don't do it. You're confusing me, nigga. What? Okay, guys, so we're heading back to the market to get some food. And um, just stay along, and I'll teach you through all the processes and everything we do. Okay. Okay, so we're heading to the market. Yay, yay, to go and get fruits. So join us. We are going to get fruits. Okay, so just when we're about to get started with the shopping, we now realize that <laughs> we now realize that they accept only cash so we have to go and look for an atm so we finally found one and we're heading to it now okay so we're working in circles looking for where we're going to see atms because the market where we're going to doesn't actually accept um cards or doesn't do uh, do pos they rather prefer cash so Let's keep walking, we will find one.
Back to the market to get uh, tomatoes. So if a, 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 a paint goes for one pound, I just bought three. So I changed my mind and um, I went for the one of um, a box, which is actually seven pounds and it's very big and a bit economical. It's gonna last me for like two or three weeks. Okay, so sorry guys, I didn't um, show you people how I bought the meat because I was carrying some a bit heavy load and it was really weighing on me. So I'm here to buy grape and then I'm also looking for where I will get pepper. Yeah, so I'll show you the meat when I get home on how I bought and then the prices. I also got some grapefruit as well and um, tangerine. So I'm still looking for pepper though. So I finally found pepper. Um, it's a bit hot, shah, but I'll be very careful when I'm using it to cook. Well, this was this wasn't the exact um, special pepper I was looking for, but I had to go with this one. Okay, so I want to get plantain and then get um, yam because it's been a while I ate yam <laughs> back from Nigeria. I think Nigeria was the last time I ate yam. So I want to get. Okay, so I got um, plantain um, seven for two pounds, seven for two pounds. Yeah, that, that's very cheap. Not like the initial place I went to that they were telling me two big ones for two pounds and the small small ones three for one pound, which wasn't actually fair. So guys, we're done. So let's start heading home. Thank you. I can now. So this is I am my market. <laughs> So we are at the bus station now, waiting to get a bus back to Conventry. Yeah, so when I get home guys, I would show you the stuffs I got and the prices and why I feel the Birmingham market is a bit cheaper than Conventry though. Okay, bye guys. Kyogen is in the bus again, I'm tired, so I'm heading back home to the door. So I'll get home, I'll show you the list of stuffs I got and um, their prices and why I prefer coming to this bar to get stuff because I feel they are a bit affordable and cheaper than in a country. So I'll see you back at home. Bye! Hello guys, um, welcome back to my channel. 
channel. I just came back from the market. Whew. It's been that day. I, I literally think I have some muzzle pins or I'm probably developed some nozzles from the lifting. Like the weights were not just here. So without boring you, let's just get right into showing you the stuffs I bought and how much I bought them for. So let's get started. Okay, so the first on my list is my blender. I don't know why I picked this blender, but it just reminds me of the blender I was using in Nigeria. So maybe that's the reason why I picked it. And this goes for 30 pounds. Okay. 30 pounds. I, I'm tired of having to dice tomatoes and not being able to make smoothies. So I decided to get out of my uncomfortable zone and get myself my blender. So welcome. I'm going to be disturbing your pinkies, your faces, with my smoothies, tidal up drinks, and all that. Wow, it's so beautiful. So yeah, that's it. And then um, I bought some pepper. You remember um, when we were in the market, I told you I was looking for this big pepper because I feel it's um, a bit pepperish and kind of like give me what I want. But this one, this one is never nearly like the pepper in it is like it's so much. So I finally got this. I think I got it for um I got three for one pound and then this the whole of the whole basket for just one pound. And yeah, that's it. And then I got tomatoes. Yeah, that's my biggest buy. Yes, guess how much this goes for? like seven pounds seriously it's seven pounds so this is why i would pick birmingham any day to go buy my stuff because i'm sure seven or three pieces of this would go for one pound in conventry this bunch is seven pounds so now you understand why i chose birmingham then another mighty buy for me was the plantain yes Everybody that is in the UK knows that you might likely just see three, um, three sticks of this for one pound or they'll tell you five for two pounds. I got seven for two pounds. Seven for two pounds. It's not seven that are bad. Like these are healthy looking plantains. Like I was out of ideas. I had to pick. I had options to pick. Like the whole of this goes for four pounds. Can you imagine? Hmm. Don't worry, I'm not done. That bag is empty. So let's get into this. And then my fruit. This is tangerine. The whole of this goes for one pound. One pound. This is more than 20 pieces in here. Interesting. Okay. One pound. I'll probably just get 10 in commentary for two pounds or something. One pound. They are like strong, fresh. It's not like they are stale or getting bad. Fresh. Then and one of my favorite fruits in the world, grape. Yes, grapefruit. The whole of this goes for one pound. One pound. Let me know do the conversion in Nigeria currency. <laughs> then, yeah, because I usually love to mix the two different species of grapefruit. So I also went ahead to get this as well. So this goes for one pound as well. Okay, so are we done with the fruits? That's the apples. Apple, apple, apple. Yes, getting apple in conventry that are big, yummy, and nice. I know I haven't tested this, but apples as big as this would probably be three for, I don't know, but it's probably expensive in conventry. But guess what? I got the eight of them for one pound. The eight of them was given to me for one pound. You can imagine. So now you understand why, because I'm a fruit person. So I generally don't joke with my fruit. So anywhere I get the best offer, I go for it. Then this is my meat, which is part of the reason why I went to the market. So um, from experience, I've noticed that when I go to um, commercial markets to buy meat, I usually end up getting meat that the weight comes from bones 
like their silver bullets in them and it's so discouraging and the fact that the prices are also not nice kind of like discouraged me so the one time first time i visited um Benham market that was um when i fell in love with the way they sell their meat like when they said we were going to get a meat without bones in it like they meant it the kilo was a kilo and all that and the prices were like within range and you had several options like you will see meat and you would not know which one to go for so without boring you i got all of this for 23 pounds yes and each of them is above one kg so this is the cow skin um no fondly called tor the meat in nigeria we call tor i don't know if that's the english name but i know it's been called tor yeah so i got this as well this is part of the package then there is chicken which is also above one kg yeah yeah i probably be spending a lot on this i also have beef like you can feel it like it's so like it's meaty and then the goat meat i was particular about not having meat not having your bones in them so yes they actually delivered on their promises so yes now you can see the reasons why i would prefer to go to birmingham market to buy food stuff yes you might want to say that um is it not far i have a bus pass for one week and my expenses are my, my travel expenses are already covered so if i can afford to go to birmingham why not and everything like for the meats that i bought not exaggerating but these are going to actually last me for up to a month if i use them very well because the last one i bought was in this um, quantity as well and they lasted for a month so that's what i'm saying but if i probably went to conventry market i wouldn't like all of these at this price it would have been half for the price that i have now so without boring you guys i think we've come to the end of this beautiful section and um, the next thing i'll be doing is trying to cook because work starts next week i actually had a sick leave for one week yeah i wasn't feeling fine thank you so much i know you care yeah i wasn't feeling fine so but i'll be back to work and back to school as well from next week so i have to get my kitchen in order so i'll be making stew soup and others i will not be showing you those videos because i don't think they are necessary everybody can make soup in the house so thank you and see you next time bye